Good afternoon, everyone. This is Paula, and today I'm going to show you through a flip through of two journals I've been working on since I've been back. One we did on video, and one I did before I did the one on video to see if what I was thinking would be correct. So they are chunky monkeys, they're both alike. Not identical, nothing's identical about them, and they're made alike, okay? Uh, the only thing that is identical is they both are, both have music sheet on the cover of the book rather than, um, you know, just putting cardstock or fabric. Okay, so they also have two different spines. I'm going to show you the spines and then let you see these little flowers here. Okay, that's the spine on book one. On book two, this is the spine. It's really pretty. So, I'm going to move book two over. We'll do book one and then we'll do book two. And that's how they're going to be listed in my Etsy shop, book one and book two. Okay, so let's do this one first. It has a, um, a little label on it, a little tag that says always and forever. I did an embossing paper in these, in these two books. And sorry, Silk, for the tie. Um, now... What you need to know is chunky, chunky. See, there's a lot going on there. And this is actually a fold out book that's on the front. It's got some polka dots that have been embossed on the bottom and the top, one in pink and one in cream. Turned out pretty. And then this lace on the outside. They're covered in, this one's covered in vellum and it has some modeling paste on the front. And all, both of them have this lace uh, that is beautiful that flows down in the front here. And on this one, we also have some Tim Holtz wildflowers, which I always love to use. Let's see what's inside, what's in, on the top of the book. So I made this, um, this flip out and, and just put in various pink flowers and, um, it's just lace, you know, crocheted lace actually. And then there's regular lace. There's three different ones here. This is four and then five, five different lace inside here. And most of these flowers inside are from Tracy Fox. Okay. Oh, and then there's a little belly band right here on this one. We just put a, I just put a um, journaling card there. So that's the outside. And I will say that these are kind of made similar. They're not anything like... Um, Amity Blooms, but I got my inspiration from her, and I just thought I'd try it, you know, but I, I didn't do the papers inside like her. Um, I thought, you know, these would be actual journals, and on those, I believe you layer and layer and layer, and your book gets bigger and bigger. I'm not sure, because she has it in a class, but um, I didn't have time to take a class, so I just decided to do this. This is the inside, and it has vellum also with one of Tracy Fox's pictures, and I added a paper ruffle here, a little bit of crocheted lace with wildflowers and some uh, embossed pieces. So I'm just opening this up. Here you can see this little pocket side tuck with the lady 
an image of a lady. I used a couple of those, I think. And then it flips over. It's kind of like a journal, but it's not. The pages aren't floppy. Another journaling card that was on that page. Here I used this little file folder and a little envelope. You open it and it has a little journaling card inside. I thought it was sweet. I'm going to get it back in here. Then I used the background of a music sheet. Here are some more of Tracy Fox's images. But on the back of a doily paper, that is one of my doilies. Now this one's going to flip out this way. And it has uh, a belly bed in the middle with one of Tracy's pitch, uh, florals. And these are Tracy's florals as well. I have a lot of Tracy Fox. Since I'm on her team, I, you know, I have a lot and I love it. Okay, so I did put tabs. There's about six tabs throughout the book. And so that's good. And then I used Taylor Made Crafts uh, wallpaper and um, some things I had laying around, you know. But um, I did it different. I did a lot of different stuff inside. Like this is a stitched uh, scrap piece of paper and I love doing that tea stain paper in here and here's a piano sheet pocket with a vintage style tag that's falling over for some reason I may have to give it a partner tailor made crafts papers and then just um, this is Wonderlust um, on Etsy uh, it's her avocado tea stained paper. Here is a glassine bag with lace and some information inside. I think this information is, yes, it is. This is from this book. Uh, the book cover is not um, available anymore, but this is dated 1904 and 1910, so, and I guess they copyrighted, it was copyright again on 1932, so this book cover is pretty old, 1932 was the last one. I don't even remember what was in it, to tell you the truth. Any of the florals, really pretty papers, are from tailor-made journals. And I've got different tea dyed and coffee dyed. That's a dictionary sheet. I, this book is in pinks, yellows, and a little bit of blue, just so you know. Those are the colors I chose to use. And here is a Tim Holtz tag. These are, this is the pocket, one of the pockets I made over my recovery. Set at the table and here's some music sheet. Here's another pocket here with goodies in it. Same here. This pocket is really pretty. Pull it out. You have an envelope with, I'm sure, a surprise inside. <laughs> and I made this out of tailor-made crafts or journals also. Tea stained, coffee stained paper. Some good smells like cinnamon. <laughs> Here's a little pocket that I made and I can't remember who I got the idea from. I totally go blank when I think about it. And I don't even think I have it on right, but I think it works. Here's an envelope uh, that has a journaling card inside and I just, I just love it. So I made a lace tie to, um, 
to keep it on and you can go inside and get the journaling card out this is another pocket i made out of tailor made crafts um paper here is just a decoupage that i did while i was recovering okay i'm standing up and my leg is going what are you doing ledger paper some vellum that's polka dot it's pretty another glassine ba bag with lace i think it's the same one it just came around here's some tailor-made crafts paper and i don't remember whose this is but i added lace to it it's medieval mirage that's who the belly band um comes from now here's another glassine bag that during my recovery i made it's just a napkin with pink and kind of a fuchsia uh flowers and then it i did a uh, guest check on the inside and then it flips over see right here flips out flips in i think they're cool and that's the end of the first journal we're going into signature number two i will tell you that this journal um uh, has a total of Signature one is a total of 118. Signature two is 102. So it has a lot of pages. Beautiful wallpaper papers from Taylor Made Crafts. This is one of my digitals, I believe. And here's some more of that stitch paper that's a lot of work making those stitch papers oh my goodness i didn't realize here is another uh, one of the pockets i made during my time off and this one as well it's got a cluster at the top i think they go great together another pocket with a journaling card and blue lace Here's an envelope I decorated not that long ago. Has a journaling card inside. And it also says always on the front. Ledger paper. Just various papers throughout here. Journal, uh, dictionary paper. And this is made out a Martha Stewart bag. So it's like the old school style bags you, you know where you have you can open them out in the bottom uh so what i did is i folded this up and put glue this is the little bottom i folded up i added fabric and lace and this yellow flower and then i made this tag out of one of the wallpapers from taylor made crafts i think she's the winner in this book <laughs> I use a lot, and inside here is an envelope. I can't get right now because of the position I'm in there. And I also made it from Taylor May Crafts. And inside, it has a guest check. Let me see if it's made out of something special. It's terrible when you don't even remember. Yep, Taylor Made Crafts. So I just wanted to make it fun and keep it consistent. Okay, so then a little lace here at the top so that when it when it is sticking out because it's so tall, you can see if I can get that back in in the position I'm in. There we go. I'm gonna have to sit down during the second one. What's the deal? What are you doing? Oh, I had it. I put it in the back slot. I forgot. There we go. Okay.
mercy. Okay, that is that one. Music sheet. Here's a collaged um, pocket with a decoupaged bird. And I made that also while I was recovering. Tried to make some things that I could do. You know, my husband brought my sewing machine down and my decoupage and that's where it came from. Here is a music sheet page with some of Tracy Fox's images. This is made out of an old vintage handkerchief. Looks like it was crocheted or something. I don't know. It's pretty, though. I made it. It was one of the first ones I made, and I've never given it up until now. <laughs> it just went perfect with that. Okay. Continuing with lots of pages to journal on, guys. Here's another sack with a... a um, journaling card in it and here we have uh another envelope that i made that has a journaling card and here's a clip right here and going on we have more journaling pages here's another this is made by with an edith holden uh, and I, I made it a while ago, too. And um, so, and then this pocket I made, it's been in my stash, and I just thought it would look good on this page. And that's the last page in that book. But on the back inside cover, I just did a folder and fold it out. Side tuck. Oh, that's an envelope. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What do we have in there? And it's made out of old book page. Ooh, ooh, I have to see. Okay. Now, over here is a tag that I decoupaged that same day. Isn't this beautiful with those roses? Oh, my goodness. And this is a scrap pocket I put together at the last minute. And I ended up loving it. And I th thought it looked really good. So you close this before you close your book. This book has a lot of extra things in it. It is stunning. Um, I have to say Amity Bloom does make beautiful books. And uh, these are some of them. So I'm going to tie this back. And then do the flip through for book number two. Now, book number two is the one we all uh, worked on together. And I, you know, I had to add a few things off camera, but, and do a few things off camera. It depends on what it was. I don't even remember what that would have been, but I know I did. Um, I don't have that tied right, but that. Book number one. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and bring in book number two. Get it lined out so I know it's going to be in sight. Stuff is falling on my... <laughs> I'm going to untie this. Now, this Sorry Silk is attached to the book. So it runs under this right here. You can see runs out here across the spine and along the back is where it um, where it runs and so I would say you know it it's a it's not a thin I think it would hold up wonderful so here we have the embossed pink and off-white trim and so on this one I'm going to sit down for a minute and hope that I can stay in camera. Um, this one is the same thing. I put this beautiful image of this Victorian style woman. I would consider these books to be shabby chic. 
or something on that same line. This frame right here I had as a leftover. And I thought, wow, that would be pretty. But then I didn't think about all the flowers out here, so I had to cut it off. It was a work, a lot of work to figure out how to make this frame work. But I did. Here's some uh, wildflowers, Tim Holtz wildflowers. I just had this little bow when I put one in each book. I thought it's cute. This is the heart trim. I did not do um, any um, mosh, not mosh posh, but modeling paste on it. So here is a rose on this page with that pretty polka dotted embossed. It says, this journal belongs to, and you put your name on there and it goes right there. And then I added the pink flowers you know, I don't use that many off that often because they are expensive. But uh, here's this sweet lady. This is Medieval Mirage. Um, all these ladies like this are. I don't know why that's giving me trouble. Must be snagging on the spine or something. I hadn't had it do that before. Well, it stays in there. I'm not going to worry with it because I think it looks fine. has plenty of space. And then you flip it over and you have two more images of hers. And the paper in the background is just very pretty. And there you have the image of the lady. And this paper in the background is also the same type. And this one's a pocket. you got a side tuck a pocket and a belly band right there on those four pages. Okay, so going inside, let me make sure we're still in camera. We are. Okay. So this has a vent, uh, this also has vellum on top of the image. This is an Amity Bloom flower inside here. I just added a ticket and a word that says believe and uh, a ruffle paper trim. And it also has the embossed paper on this one. And this is a belly band here. And this one says, and so the story begins. And I think that means, and so whoever purchases it when their story begins. And this is just a little, little journaling book with some scraps. And I just thought it was cute as could be. So I put it inside this and just all kinds of, quite a few. I didn't count them, but there's a lot. Here on the back is one of Medieval Mirage. That's my paper trim up here and pocket down here made out of trim so that's cool and again in this book i used a lot of tailor-made journals so you'll see that here's some beautiful i don't know if you can tell they're not super long uh um beads and um they're all really pretty beads, too. Now, you're thinking these books might be a nuisance. I haven't had a bit of trouble working with them. I just know it's there, and look at how beautiful this paper is. Wow, it's a wallpaper. On this one, I added parts of a blue dually that was very old, and around the part that was like, you know, part of a flower. I cut those off because I liked the way they curled under and I thought they would look great, kind of waterfalling uh, down the side of the book. As you can see there, it is a chunky monkey too. Now it does not have the tabs, it has the, um, crocheted doily. 
Okay, let's get back to that. Okay, there's some wallpaper. When you hear me say wallpaper, you know it's tailor-made journals. And I made this pocket and the tag, I put this lace that has a heart on it and three of these little flowers. Here's an envelope I made a long, long time ago and just haven't found the right book and making this I did as a journaling card inside. Um, here is, oh, this is not Taylor made crafts. This is, oh my goodness. I have the name of the person in my file, but sh she is, um, she does a lot of the pastels also. So here is a card that had roses on it that I just cornered, uh, rounded one corner to make a tuck, side tuck. And here's a bookmark or tag. It's beautiful. And that, is, I don't know who that's from. I've got so much ephemera mixed in, you know. But I put lace under this uh, rose that has the blue flowers in it as well. Just thought that looked stunning. There's another one in here on the other side. Now here, I just flipped this this comes from someone who does journals. I'm, I'm not quite sure, honestly. This envelope, uh, I covered in lace and then a rose. Fussy f cut that. And here's part of that, uh, that um, paper I showed you earlier. This folds down. I love these. And you just hold it down with your, your flap. This is book number two. Here's the bag. It's got lace and it's got tags or journaling cards in them. I like the way that one looks. I did them all the same. I had a couple little side tuck pieces. I don't know where they came from, but I put them on there and I just tucked these little, uh, what looks like a thread but it's really something you you wrap ribbon or twine or something on, I believe. Oh gosh, who did I get this from? I think it's my porch prints. This one right here. Isn't that stunning? I love that. Like I can't get enough. I, I I mean I keep buying them and keep buying them because I can't get enough of them. Music sheet that's very old. Another one of those pretty pastels that goes with the lady. I don't know who it is. Tea stain paper. Just a little to do the list. Here is some avocado paper. Some is the real thing and some is the printed. You can tell by this one because it's so wrinkled. I think that was, this was done by, um, oh, you would know. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I've got the worst memory. Here's another one of those pages that go with the other pastels. I made this one, this pocket also when I was um, off healing. It's this same little tag. And then it has same little ladies and just folds out. This is not Medieval Mirage. I can't tell you the name of it. Because I'm not in front of the computer. I guess I could have had my husband help me downstairs. But So here is a glassine bag that folds out. Okay. And the tag has a bow. And the tag is a little bird. This is one of the tags I did also when I was off. 
but I didn't want the bird to show and tell, you know, through the glassine bag until the person actually opened it. So I added lace down the front with one of these um, bookmarks, whatever you want to use it for. I added four of these little flowers. And over here, there was, in this ephemera, there were clocks, all different kinds of clocks. So I just took this one and I mounted it on an old quilt and then mounted it on this page. And I just thought it was a nice decoration. I tried to make it corner tucks, but it wouldn't cooperate to do that. There's a lot of pages in this book, but you cannot tell because it really lays open well. I mean, you can't tell because I'm messing with it. And it hadn't been, you know, went through yet. Here's a pocket and here's a page to journal on. Here is the, another journaling card with this lace in that bag. Old school paper lace. This is pretty. This is a double pocket. I'm going to take these out. No, it's just a single pop pocket with, and the pocket up here for this large tag. And I just added uh, journaling paper to the back of all the tags and journaling cards. And with the birds, I just love, I incorporated the birds here and there too. And I, I made this out of um, tailor-made crafts papers, wallpapers. But I added a, a rose that I fussy cut here. And then here is one of my clusters that I made that goes in the top of this. It's so pretty, I have to say myself. Here's a, here is another one. Oh, <laughs> forgot to tell you this part. This paper right here is this paper right up here. These fit up on the bottom. You can actually fit them from the top or the bottom. But if you fit them from the bottom, they include the next page. So this and this is one long piece. And then I made a pocket on both ends. Folded it one little taller than the other. You could put it all on one page, but I chose to glue it right here. And then glue it here and make a second pocket. And glued it over right here under. And then went up and glued the size sides on this one. And this is the same, same one with these pretty tags. And this lovely girl. I also added lace and fussy cutted some roses. Here's another of the crocheted. I'm just kind of flipping through the regular pages so you can get an idea. Here is the second signature. I love that paper. Okay. Has a lot. This one has more embellishments. Probably, probably not as more, more. It's just I pulled out kind of some hef, hefty ones. Here's another one of these pockets on the second signature that I made. <clears throat> Here's the pink bag with the same lace and it has this Victorian style woman on it. It's really pretty. That's that paper that goes with the other pastels. There's Lorna's papers. Um, music sheet. Here's a little pocket and rose cards that I have for this one. Here's just a scrap of the spine, and I just liked it. And I thought, well, I'm not throwing that away. I'm putting it in a book somewhere. So that matches your spine. Avocado paper. Here is another one of those stoolies I worked on. And this pocket I had had for a while, 
and I had decorated it already and I felt like it went well with this theme. Look at that beautiful paper. Mercy, so pretty. As there is a dictionary sheet and there is a paper. Well, maybe not. That is the diction. It's thick. Here's another one of the side tucks I showed you earlier. Only it's kind of a sagey green. Yeah, it just goes and goes and goes, doesn't it? Here's another pocket that's really pretty. It has... Uh, two places and I added this rose on the front after fussy cutting and here's this cool rose paper to go along with it one half of a signature before we're done here is the other side tuck I add lace and a rose there and this vintage tag now over here is a tag. You can see right here that it's made. It was collaged and made out of book page. And I just added ribbon to a clip and clipped it on here and a little rosette came with it uh, when I made it. And then here's another one of the clocks with a different quilt. All right, it might be the same quilt, I don't know. I just, the first one I saw. I'll bring my scissors in the closet where all my stuff is, and you, you can expect a lot. So this has all little birds on it, and I I pushed it down in there, pulled down the lace so it would close, but also added a little tab so they know that it goes up. Otherwise, it just looks like you stuck a picture there. Yes, and Dee Dee. I thought... Uh, the porch print paper looked really good with the dictionary paper. This book is not over the top wide. It's smaller um, than, I want to say it's five inches. I might be wrong. It is, it is five, no, one, two, three four and a half wide and it is how tall is this one i got the ruler backwards let's go like this it's eight and a quarter tall the actual book so yeah it's got a lot this is this was the first thing I put in here, and I just love this. I put this rose on here, and this is just a to and from, but I loved the roses, so it got put in here. This is another bird in here, and this is Blue Fern Studios paper uh, that the pocket is made out of. And here is the belly band, which is med Medieval Mirage. And I just added lace. And this is one of their little images that opens this cute little envelope. And it has a journaling card inside. It's really pretty. And you can change around, you know. And then this little picture here actually makes a nice closure. And you just slide it under. Waiting for the new owner. <laughs> Whoever they're going to get to uh, journal in this book. Here is another journaling tag. All of these have something on the front, but they don't have anything on the back. So there's a lot of private, personal journaling. Here is the last thing of crocheted doily. And here is a tuck on the back instead of a book. 
and it has two of these beautiful cards. I'm gonna go right there. And here's the other one. Just a little, little folded card to journal in. And that is the end of book two. So I feel like um, these books are just stunning. And um, they will be on my Etsy shop when this video, when this flip through video is complete. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. I also want to let you know that my design team project with the tags, those will be sewed as a set in my store. There's a video on these, so you can go back and look. They'll be in my store as well. So I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad we already have two books made and some tags. Um, things are going to be good. So I believe my next uh, book is going to be made out of a cardboard box. And I know everybody goes, oh, not a cardboard box. But I had the perfect box. It was that thick. Okay. I don't know what that is. Two inches, probably. This is the side of the box. And I drew off the, the book cover. Look how clean those cuts are. <laughs> because I did it with the saw and there's the edges and I had room for a little bit smaller one we won't do that one at this time but um, yeah if you get a flat electronic box that electronics come in like a keyboard or something where it's just the right width on the sides you can do this and mine didn't have anything stuck on it or anything. I've been hanging on to these for some time. So, it's going to be a pretty book. It's going to be different, but I think you'll like it. So, got to go. Got to go and get busy making other books. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye now.